comic strip Tales of the Eagle Force. Stories you can act up with die-cast metal Eagle Force action figures, each sold separately. There's Captain Eagle and Talon. You can pretend K.O. is a judo fighter. Turk, a strongman, and Sergeant Brown, a demolitions expert. Boom! And this is the enemy, General Mamba. Destroy the Eagle Force. Head of Riot, plus Baron Von Chill, Beta Man, and Shock Trooper, each sold separately. Captain Eagle, K.O., Turk, and all Eagle Force figures, each sold separately by Nego. Hello, my name is uh, Fu Manchu. Now, back in 1980, predating the G.I. Joe Real American Hero smaller action figure line, Mego had beat them to the punch with their own elite counter-terrorist task force named Eagle Force, and they fought Riot, the roving international organization of tyranny. We really need to look them up. I think I could work for them. Anyways, this was a smaller two and three-fourths inch line. They were made out of die-cast metal, and the good guys were even painted gold. Now, they were doing pretty good until G.I. Joe's came out, and then it was straight to the bargain bin and clearance row. But you know what? They're back with a vengeance. And man, these figures look awesome. So let's go check them out, shall we? Today's review will be on the Fresh Monkey Fiction and Zika Toys Eagle Force. And I love that logo. And this is for the Captain Eagle Eagle Force Leader figure. And what a figure it is. Just check out that packaging. I love that retro style card art there. Next to his leg, you can see it says Global Premier Strike Force to fight worldwide injustice and tyranny. We need you now, Eagle Force Chase. But you know what? This looks so good. Now, as you can see on the packaging, it's got a plastic kind of clamshell you know, covering over it. Well, that's because these figures are 100% collector friendly. You just slide the card out of the bubble, you play with the figure all you want, you put the figure back in the bubble, and you slide the card back in, and you've got a figure you can still display in the package, and that is awesome. Now, speaking of the package, I love it. I love the artwork there. I love the fact that it's got some more of the figures there advertised in the line, and look at all those blurbs. That is awesome. So let's check them out. Looking at the top blurb first, it says the long-retired Captain Eagle is recruited back into active duty by his former teammate, General Brown. Together, they enlist a new generation of Eagle Force team members to combat the re-emerging forces of Riot, a terrorist organization driven by a desire for total global domination. Eagle Force! Posable action figures. Below that, it says, Captain John Eagle comes from a lineage of military veterans and his exposure to the military life at a young age instilled in him a sense of duty, honor, and a strong desire to serve. A decorated war hero who served in Southeast Asia, Eagle was handpicked in the 1980s to lead an exceptional team of military operatives against a sinister threat of riot. Now, 30 years later, riot has returned and Captain Eagle returns to face down this new threat. And if that wasn't enough, underneath his little picture here, it says Captain Eagle, Eagle Force Leader. And there's a quote from General Brown saying, Yeah, he's a captain, and I'm a general. But I'm telling you right now, if he says jump, I'm asking him how high. Below all of that, it says Roll Call Series 1 and shows off some of the figures in the line, including Captain Eagle, Eagle Force Leader, Striker Jr., Sharpshooter, The Cat, espionage expert, and fireball pyrotechnic sabotage. And if that wasn't enough, there's also firebug pyrotechnic infantry, riot commando, elite terrorist operative, riot shock trooper, terrorist operative infantry, and bringing up the rear, eagle force trooper, eagle forces infantry. Now, I don't know about you, but this is what I think action figure packages are supposed to look like. I mean, just check out all that artwork, every bit of information you could possibly want on the character, the toys, all of it. This is just so cool. I mean, nowadays you barely get any pictures on the back of the packages, and there's like trilingual times a hundred and stuff like that. Just, just look at this. I mean, if I'd have gotten this figure as a kid, I probably would have redrawn every one of those pictures and I would have been dreaming over the artwork going, oh, I can't wait to get Stryker Jr. next or, or the Riot Shock Trooper or the Cat. Man, this is so awesome. And so, yeah, Zika Toys and Fresh Monkey Fiction, you guys knocked this one out of the park. And I haven't even looked at the figure yet, so let's go check out the figure, shall we? 
Looking at Captain Eagle still inside of the package, and I like what I see. This figure looks awesome. And as you can see, he's inside of the little plastic tray, and underneath him you can see a little plastic bag that contains all of his accessories, including extra hands and stuff like that. That is awesome. One of the little details that I absolutely love about this figure is the fact that they gave him grayer hair, because it's been like 40 years since he served, and this is awesome. Man, I cannot wait to pull him out of the package. So you know what? I say we waste no more time, and I say we open him! After sliding the little card out of the plastic tray, you get a better view of that picture and it looks so cool. I love the stainless steel metal look behind where the figure would be. This looks awesome and I love that artwork. It looks so good. So here's Captain Eagle fresh out of the package and just check out that head sculpt. I think he looks like Josh Brolin with an eye patch and that's okay by me. Down below that, he's got a black vest on with the Eagle Force logo, and underneath that, he's got a black and yellow shirt on. Now, if you look at his left arm, he has a gold robotic forearm, and that is so cool. And the fact that it's gold harkens back to the original Eagle Force figures, because all the good guys had gold outfits, and that is awesome. Now, in fact, Zika Toys makes this figure with a gold-suited variant, and that is really cool, but I really like the way this color scheme looked. That's why I got this one. He just looks so good. Down here at his legs are basically all black. He has a functioning gun holster on his right thigh, and that looks amazing. Now, if you notice, all of the articulation here is basically like your newer G.I. Joe figures. This is so cool, and in fact, Captain Eagle would fit right alongside Duke, this looks so good. Looking at the figure from behind and just check out all that detail work on the vest alone. That is awesome. Now one of the little details you might not notice is you might see a little flap right there underneath his armpit. That's because the vest is removable. So you can have him just wearing the shirt if you want or you could put a totally different vest on him. These figures are very customizable and that is awesome. Down below that you can see that gun holster that I mentioned before and some double jointed knees there. This is so awesome, and yeah, I already love it. So, in case you're curious, here's what the figure looks like with the vest removed, and check out all the detail work on the shirt underneath. That is awesome. Now, over here, you can see the vest, and if you want to, you could totally take one of the vests off one of the other figures and swap it out. Heck, you could probably even dress him up as a riot trooper and make him go undercover. <laughs> that would be awesome. Looking at him from his left profile, and now he looks like Tommy Lee Jones with an eye patch, and that's still okay by me. You can see the articulation there at the shoulder. He's also got articulation there at the elbow. And just look at the detail work on that robotic forearm alone. That looks so awesome, man. This figure makes me very, very happy. And it's totally dawned on me that I haven't even looked at his accessories yet. I've just looked at the figure, and man, I am so happy already. But there's even more to look at, so let's check it out. All of his accessories are in a resealable little plastic baggie, and just check out how much stuff is in there. That is awesome. Except for there might be a dead bird in there. I, I hope he's taking short, shallow breaths in that plastic baggie. We better get him out. The bird is alive and well. Repeat, the bird is alive and well. And just check him out. Now, I don't know what his name is. It didn't say on the package, so I mean, I guess we gotta make up a name for him. But as you can see, he can hold on to uh, Captain Eagle's arm there, and that is awesome. They did a great job on this. And I love getting animals with like G.I. Joe's or even these Eagle Force figures, because it's like getting a whole nother character with your figure. As for weapons, Captain Eagle includes this machine gun and this smaller gun that you can also put in that gun holster in his right thigh, and that is awesome. The next coolest accessory that he includes next to that eagle is this beret, and man, I can't wait to put it on the figure because I bet you this completes his look. Last up, he includes eight extra hands. You get these two hands here that look like they're gesturing. You've got these right here that are weapon holding hands, and these two that look like they could hold weapons, and then these fists. Now, when I saw these, I was like, hey, it's really cool that you get different hands, but do you see a problem? Because I kind of see a problem with these hands. And you know what the problem is? Did they forget that Captain Eagle has a left robotic hand? Uh, even Captain Eagle can see that, and he's got one good eye. But, jokes aside, even though you don't get replaceable robotic left hands, honestly, I think you get enough accessories with this figure. They could have stopped at the Eagle and the Beret, and I would have been happy. This is awesome.
So, what do I think about Captain Eagle? Man, this figure is so cool, and what a great figure to start with, because this is going to be the first of many figures I get in this line. I absolutely love them. They are so cool indeed. And you know what? When I first found out that Eagle Force was going to be coming back, I didn't know it was a Kickstarter. So I kept looking for it, you know, online and stuff. And I was like, well, where are they? And then finally I found out it was a Kickstarter and they were all sold out. And you know what? I was able to track these down because I've got a time machine and man, I got a few of them. So if you want to see more, tune in soon. So there's my review of the Fresh Monkey Fiction and Zika Toys, Eagle Force, Captain... Eagle! And man, what a figure this is. I absolutely love it. I love the card. I love the art. I love all the details on the card. I love all the details of the figure, man. This is so cool. And Zika Toys, let me know. Does that eagle have a name? I mean, he's got to have a name, right? I mean, seriously, he's got to have a name. I mean, didn't they name the Eagle Force after that eagle? I mean, yeah. I mean, nobody else has the name Eagle in their title, right? Oh, yeah. Anyways, until next time, tune in for more. Can Captain Eagle fight off General Mamba? It's up to you when you're in command of the Eagle Force. Boom! Reviews! <laughs> hey, this is Nolan North. You don't want to miss Foo Reviews.